Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. I'm playing some more Planet Crafter. I made myself the rocket boots. So now when I run a little bit faster, I can also double tap the jump button and I can hover. I don't know exactly how long it lasts, but we can get some altitude. Look at this. I don't know how long it lasts and it's going to rain some more. So what we're doing today is I want to go through the cave system. I've been in it before. You can see I got my little stopping point over here to kind of top off the O2 and whatnot. I've been into the cave a little bit, but I know that it exit out on the other side, but I don't know what's on the other side. So it would behoove us to go over there. We're to the point in the game where it's pouring down rain again. Uh, we're to the point in the game where we need to start getting a lot more rarer resources. I, mean, I did make the other food grower, like I said, and put it outside and uh, through the other uh, golden seed I have in there, so I have three of those going there. We unlocked the ability to make the, uh, what was it called here? The algae generator. You gotta put that on a lake and it creates stuff and things. It's a useful thing. I wanna make myself a biodome pretty soon and strap that bed boy onto the house because then I can start planting some better things. So we're gonna head over this way. I, I think the cave goes that way a little ways and I think it opens back up over there, I think. We got some more. I used a bunch. You have to use a bunch of supplies to make this. So something like iridium, I should probably grab some more of because I had to have uh, iridium rods in order to make the rockets. It's it's quite resource intensive to make that. Is this uh, sulfur? No, that's ice. I, I can't. No. Okay, so that's the way we came out of. Is this a cave down here? Nope. I don't want to fall down someplace and then find myself kind of SOL when I get stuck or something. All right, we got a walking path over that way. Easy to get turned around here. Hold on. I can fly, baby. Let's just fly up here to the top. I'm not sure if we've been up here or not. That's so cool. That is so cool. Oh, hold on. I think we got a chest right over here. If okay, I'm, we clipped the edge of it, almost fell off. I don't think I checked this one yet. I did not. Mushroom seeds. Ooh, nice. I'll go ahead and definitely take the uh, rarer materials. I'll take the mushroom seeds. Stuff like this we'll leave behind just for now in case we need to come. Uh, we need to clear up some inventory space. I could have swore there was an exit to this cave the last time I played. Okay, so we came in that way. Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. That's always a possibility. I'm just trying to keep my bearings here. It's kind of dark, so nice. Got the nuclear. Wait, this is the golden chest. It's not even a regular chest. Okay, so this is just a golden chest. Okay, cool, cool. That might not be... There may not be an exit to the cave. I may have been just thinking backwards, but we can go around the outside of it. Let's uh, let's get our speed boost on here. I don't know if this uses any kind of resources or not in order to be able to keep flying like this. I have no idea if there's like a time limit. I can't see any kind of gauge anywhere that says, hey, by the way, you're about to plummet. <laughs> you may want to land on the ground. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, we're going to continue on. Like I said, there's a whole lot more to this map we haven't explored yet. We've been up to that wreck, but not gathered everything in there. But we have not been around this edge of the cave, up into that general direction here. So let's continue on this way and see if we can't find something cool. Got something up here. Haven't been up here before. Let's see what's up here. That looks like a cloud of gas. Oh, this jump jet is so cool. I like this, man. We can get some aerial views of some things. Oh, okay. Bad things, apparently. Um, this might be like a sulfur valley. I need to probably plan on getting myself the resources to make myself a little base. So I need like iron, silicon, and titanium in order to make myself a stopping point. Which, fortunately, in this general area seems to be pretty simple. We don't need sulfur. Well, worst case scenario... I can wander through here, and if I can't make myself a base, I did bring some O2 canisters so I can kind of top it off. Well, hold on. Before I build something else over here, we got a, an exit right over here. Ooh, it's, a, it's another cave, kind of like we did in the last one, an osmium cave. Okay, so I need to build my stopping point. You know, I could probably build it, like, right on top of this hill here, so if I'm coming back through here, I can stop on this. All right, let's build you right here that works put the door on you right there and we can run in and top off the o2 and be good to go i love that it doesn't take that many resources to make these things that way you can make these little stopping points i do want to make myself a tier 2 jetpack eventually but um it requires a lot of resources i had to make two rockets for this one oh that's that's wonderful some more osmium some of the rarer stuff that's in here 
I wonder if this is like in the last one. Yeah, there's this frozen part right here. So we need to get the heat way up. Now that we have our tier, okay, melting points at five units per Kelvin or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's in Kelvin or not. But at least we found another Osmian cave. That's cool. We'll have to come back over to this one and the other one once it finishes uh, melting. Sulfur. I don't need sulfur yet. Um, sulfur. Uh, I don't know exactly what I need sulfur for. Is there anything up here? I don't think I've seen a, an ingredient that needs sulfur yet. Unless it's for like the biomass generator or maybe I need it for the nuke level 2. Okay, I need to keep an eye on which direction we came in and stuff. Okay, so this is that. Oh, that's so cool. We can freaking fly. I love it. Okay, so we came in this way. Yeah. Is there another exit over this way or did I just circle back around? That's awesome. Sulfur fields are... Eh, that's yeah, a good place for sulfur, I guess. But other than that, I don't really see a reason to come over here again. So let's fly on that way. What is that? I mean, we gotta go check that out. We got this sand wall. I don't know if it's sand or... Maybe it's maybe it's some sort of mist, you know, it's like it's raining over here or something. Well, if video game logic can, compels me to do anything, it's that, hey, you got to look behind the waterfall for secrets, right? That is cool looking. I don't even know what that is. It could be mist coming off the sand dunes. Where are you? A super alloy. Yeah. Grab all of you because, you know, you're free. Those are the ones I need to be able to make rockets and stuff like that. I'm going to grab all of these because they're free. They're sitting right here. It's free resources. Nice. Okay, so if you find the gigantic sand wall, it's a good place to find super alloys and you don't have to jack around in the cave system for it. Nice. That's cool. Let's fly out of that a little bit, shall we? That's cool. All right, so we know where a bunch of super alloys are. Got a chest over here. Let's see if there's anything good inside it. It's not a golden chest, but what do we have? Tusca seeds. A Shenga seed. I definitely would take that and that and that. I could probably, I have seeds at the house. I'm not too concerned with getting those just yet. Or getting those to start with, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm not too worried about getting extra seeds. I'm not even doing too much on the growing of things right now. Sweet, another chest over here. Man, this makes traversing so much faster. <laughs> Highly recommend this. Another one, nice. Shenga seed, eggplant seeds. I'll take the fabric because I have been using those lately. And I'll hang on to the rest of this. Leave that there for the next adventurer to come through. What do we have over that way? I may end up having to make myself another checkpoint base real quick because we got a whole area over here we need to explore. What is this? I don't know what this is, but... Okay, so can I make... I need a little bit of titanium. Oh, yeah, baby. We got a whole new world here. That's silicon. Uh-oh. Hydration a little low. It's okay. I brought a water bottle. See if we can very quickly make what we need to for this. See, is there titanium over here? I mean, surely there is. It's all over the place. Whew, we got to build right before the oxygen ran out. I don't even have to use my one of my canisters. That's fantastic. Cool. All right, we have this entire... I don't know what this is, but it's pretty huge mungus. Is that another cave up there? Hang on. Before we go in there, let's go up here. Since we can move at a pretty rapid pace now and we got supplies and a stopping point, I want to check to see if this is an actual cave. It kind of has the pillar structure on the outside of it, like that one we went into the first time where we got all the osmium. So if it's a cave, I definitely want to go check it out. Or it could just be a rock structure. I don't know. No, I think it is a cave. It's a cave. It's a foggy cave. Nice. Got a chest over here with blueprint. Yes. Tusca seed, free water from free cobalt. Uh, we don't need it, but I'm gonna top. It. I'm gonna leave the water behind just for now. This is. I'm gonna get lost in this place for sure. I don't know what this place is, but I 100% know I'm gonna get lost in here if I don't pay attention. This is gonna have to be a journey for a different day. Let me make sure there's nothing hidden around here. Another super alloy. Oh, man, we got so many of those. I'm going to have to run back to that house. And I did check you, right? I did not. This is a different one. Iridium. Get that. That. 
Another Tusca seed. Dang it! I have too much good stuff. This isn't cool. It's not cool. Stop giving me so much good stuff without having a whole lot of inventory space to go with it. <laughs> I need to be able to carry all of this. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a big locker here. That way I can put a lot more stuff in it. Making the small one probably end up just hindering me here. So I can put a lot of this crap in there, like almost all of it. So I'll just put all that in there to start with. Space food, I'll take, I'll take the keep me alive things, those. Space food gets a little bit low. That'll restore it pretty much almost all the way up. Two oxygen, a little bit of water. We should be good to go. I want to save real quick. All right, let's go explore this uh, freighter here or whatever this is. Nice. Got a chest around the beginning part of it here with more good stuff. Free water. Um, dang it. Again, more stuff I have to have that I don't have room for. <laughs> And yeah, we're, hold on, as I said, where's my wagon? I need to be able to make a wagon. Okay, now let's see if we can figure out how to get on the inside of this place. Maybe it's around the back side of this way. There's my other house. Wait, 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 hang on. Okay, so we have been in, we have been inside this one. We just came around the top side of that one. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, we've, we've been up over in this general direction before. Nice, so I can start making my way back home because that's our other stopping point, that's our way. All right, so I thought that was a completely different piece of equipment there, but no, it's not. Cool, uh, how much of this stuff can I take with me? Almost all of it. Is there anything I can leave behind that it's just like, I don't have to have you right this second? Um, you know what, tell you what, I'll go ahead and eat the space food and I'll take the uranium and I'll leave this one behind if we need it later on. Cool, all right, let's get home real quick and see if we can't make ourselves a biodome and see what other kind of fun stuff. Maybe a tier two nuke would be great. Man, that just, that just is so much fun. I'm not even gonna lie. Cool, all right, so we have a ton of stuff we can drop off in here. This is like almost all of this will go in there. Take you and you out. Anything else that doesn't go in the rarities? And we're full on that one. Okay, well, let's crack open this blueprint, see what we got here. Agility boots tier three. Well, I think we're rocking the tier twos, are we not? Agility, yeah, we have the tier twos. See, on the engine over here that we made, the jetpack, there is a tier two, which you're doing the sulfur, osmium, and aluminum for. So this uh, allows you to fly in the air, increases uh, improvement speed, and so does this one. This one's plus 150, this one's plus 170. It's not a huge jump from tier two to tier three. I'm sorry, tier one to tier two. So it's almost like, eh, I don't know if I want to waste my resources on that or not, you know? And you are full of things. Let me sort you out a little bit. We have two uranium rods. That's good. That is good. We got good stuff here. Good stuff. Oh, hold on. I want to check on the beans. Are you done? So let me see what the beans do for you here. The beans give you 60 health versus like the squash, which is better than the zucchini. So beans do better than squash cool plant you didn't i get a mushroom seeds let me try mushrooms see what that does i don't know what mushrooms will do once they're completely planted okay let me see if i can drop off a few things first well i'm kind of full on things all right what do we need to be able to make a tier two nuke launcher or a nuke reactor three water bottles explosive powder i don't know how to make explosive powder that's kind of cool though. Okay, since we can't make a nuke reactor, let's see what about making a biodome, because that way I can get a bunch of plants going. Titanium, cobalt, aluminum, three super alloys, okay. I don't have any titanium here. Wow. I don't have any cobalt either. Okay, well we came completely unprepared, but fortunately we still have a ton of resources around here. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna say it because, you know, the games don't like when I say things, but we haven't seen the meteor strike, just a regular one in a little bit. Maybe we're kind of past that. I, I, I say with trepidation, look at that lake. That's beautiful. Okay, that should be enough to get us going. Now we just need one thing of aluminum. I have not used the biodome before, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work out, but I mean, we'll give it a try here now. Let's see what it does. I, it might be kind of cool. One thing of aluminum. I'm gonna try to see if I can strap this onto the side right here. That way it's still part of the contained unit. 
Um, hang on. What what am I missing? Oh, I didn't get a Lerma seed. That's why. I was like, I know I got all the stuff I need to make that. Lerma. At least the recipes that you have to use seeds always use like the low level blah ones here. Okay, so you're a little bigger than I thought you are. Are you self-contained or do I have to actually have you mounted to something? Um I think you're self-contained. I was going to see if I could snap it onto the building itself, but it doesn't look like it does that. I think you got to just I think it's got to do its own thing here, which is fine. Tell you what, I'll put you right Where's the door? Is there an obvious door right there? How about right there? Low power. That's cool. Let me guess. I got to build the door to get onto. I could, yeah. See, I thought there might be a way to snap this bad boy on there. I have to make the door, don't I? Of course I do. Let's see what our power usage is real quick. We're making 315. We're using 322. So I need to make probably something more simple. I can't make a... Can I make another regular nuclear reactor? Three super alloys, two water, and a uranium rod. I have all of that. Okay, let's get another nuke going up here. And that should be more than enough power to keep us going for a little while. Yeah, I know I could tear these apart. And tell you what, I'll get rid of you real quick. And we'll make a regular nuke right there. There we go. Now we have more than enough power. See, I'm still not entirely sure that I can't connect that to the actual building. Free water, baby. Free water. Free counting all the resources I had to make for that. Man, I swear there's got to be a way to snap that on here. I, it wasn't showing me a connecting sort of issue, so I don't know if I can put it on the bottom. I don't know, but I need one more silicone to make a door. Do I have any more? I do. If nothing else, we can leave it out here. It seems to be okay where it's at. What are you? Oh, bio lab, living compartment corner, I guess if you want to make the base, an area lamp. Nice. We got stuff here I didn't even realize I could make. Okay, now what do we have in here? I guess the door probably should have gone on the other side. Bio lab, okay, so algae generator, biomass rocket. Ooh, cool. Flower spreader two, food grower two, tree spreader. A tree spreader, that could be kind of cool. And are all of these planters? Or is this all it is, is just, I mean, this just gives me a place to make some stuff. I should put the door on the other side. Like I need to take apart the whole thing, rotate it around, put the door on the correct side. It's not a big deal. Bio lab, okay, so. Unlocks at 25, we're at two. I don't know exactly what we need this for, specifically. Hold on. What do you what do you do? It's dark again. Biodome grows plants and generates oxygen. So it makes 135 oxygen per second. That's cool. Let's see what our oxygen's at here. It's doing pretty good. Where do we get the neck oops, the wrong one. Blueprint here. What do we what do we get as far as when our oxygen gets up to the next level? We get the heater at tier four, but we got to be at 63 parts per billion and we're at 3.52 parts per billion. It's not too bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. But we got to, uh, hold on. I wanted to check to make sure since I've never made one of this before, I could be doing it wrong. Okay, so I can't do anything with you. You're just its own little planted thing here. Okay, so for you to make an algae generator, Grows underwater algae, germs by the place. Okay, so I can make that without having to do this. So other than just the fact that this place just makes oxygen, I can't really do anything else with it. That's fine. I mean, there's nothing else that adds to the game here. I'm building stuff. What is the thing we need more of? Hang on, I need to go check on this real quick. Because I think if it gets full, it stops doing anything. Nice. See, this gives you a bunch of stuff. Can't even take everything. It gives me so much. That's fantastic. We're just pumping out materials. Do I have enough stuff to just convert you to a super alloy? I don't. I don't even have enough room for another super alloy, I think. And put you over there, put you in there. I didn't mean to drop you. Stay right there. Yeah, our inventory is completely full of stuff. We, we are a little bit topped off there. Well, I'd say we got 
hang on. Are you done doing your thing yet? 53%, 53%. Okay, so y'all are still doing your thing. Didn't I get some better seeds? Hang on, let me sort you out real quick. What's the best seeds I have? I have the nullness, which are 300, 200. So nullness seeds. What is what is this one in here? That's a nullness. So it's 300. These are 600s. That's a 400. And the ones I have outside are all 600s. Okay. Do I have any other like really good super seeds? If I made another tier two or another uh, food level three here, veggie tube. One more aluminum and I can make another one. That'd probably be useful so I can get as much stuff as possible. Go ahead and get the seed. I'll put another nulna. Hang on, which one do I have over here? That's a 600. I should put you in there. And that way I can put the golden seeds in the tier three. Veggie tube. Put you right there. Open you up, put the golden seed in there, and now we've got four golden seeds growing in the tier three veggie tubes. That's going to be good. So that'll make our oxygen go up even faster. That's good. Okay, so we got quite a bit of exploring done today. Checked out the caves. We got a bunch of... We found the sulfur things. I think... I'm not entirely sure. But I think... Let me see. Where is it? Let's, I want to come back over here real quick. Where, where am I going? Okay, that's... I need to go... Hang on. Okay, so that's where we started, that direction. I haven't really gone up that way much. Did I get this chest? I'm almost certain I did. I don't remember any of that part. Maybe I did and did not. Okay, so I'm going to just tear you... Whoops. Tear you apart so I don't forget where you are. Let me see what this is over here. I probably did come over here and just don't remember it. But this looks kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, this is the cool, the, this sort of thing here. Yeah, okay. Did I get you? I did. I'll go ahead and take that since you're here. Break you down so I don't think you're something later on. Oh, yeah, okay, so this was... I didn't go inside this ship last time. Let's do that, too. Let's see what's in here real quick. Bunch of cobalt table. Let me make sure there's nothing in here first. I think I can get on top of this and then there's a way to get inside from here. Yeah. Now, is there anything in here? I mean, surely there is. Ooh, yep. There we go. Down here. All right. Super alloy, iridium. I'll eat the space food because it's free. More aluminum, more iridium. No, I don't want to label you. I want to open you up. Aluminum, more cloth fabrics, good. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, there's some things in here. I'd like another blueprint chip, but maybe I need to keep doing some more exploring in those other places first. I wonder if there's a golden chest in this area. I don't know if there is. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, I came through here, but I didn't check this ship last time. All right. It's kind of weird how, you know, like the sky just goes all you know purplish colored and as soon as we walk into this general area it's kind of kind of weird that it's like ta-da now it's blue again that's a little bit on the weird side all right well i need to let some resources basically just kind of pump up a little bit but i think see what i was going to say is that right over there we went that direction but i'm almost certain that it opens up even further that way we went like left but i think you can go off that way again too so I think next time we'll go over that way and see if there's any more pieces of ship that we haven't been to because we need some more blueprints. Need to be able to get the next oxygen tank up if we can too. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are I'm still having a lot of fun with these. We're kind of to a point where we're just going to wait and get some things unlocked here. But if you did, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later.